welcome to Christmas Day here at St. Michael and All Angels Anglican Church in Prince George. Son of God, you were before time began and came into the world to save us. Blessed are you, Son of Righteousness. You shine with the Father's love and illumine the whole universe. Blessed are you, Son of Mary, born a child. You shared our humanity. Let heaven and earth shout for praise. Blessed are you, Son of David, born to rule. You received gifts from the wise men. Blessed are you, Heavenly King, teaching and preaching, healing and comforting. You proclaimed the kingdom. Let heaven and earth shout their praise. With all the creatures on earth, we sing and dance at his birth. Praise and honor and glory to you. O Lord Most High, let us pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored our human nature. May we share the divine life of your Son, Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity and now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We listen for the word of God. A reading from the book of Isaiah 62, verses 6 to 12. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels, all day and all night. They shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest, and give no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it renowned throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn, sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, I will not again give your grain to be food for your enemies. 
and foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have labored. But those who garner it shall eat it, and praise the Lord. And those who drink it shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway, cleared of stones. Lift up an ensign over the people. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, Say to daughter Zion, see your salvation comes. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 97. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Let us pray. Almighty God, your whole creation declares your glory. May we perceive you in all our your works and live in the light of your righteousness. Through him who is the light of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Titus, verses 4 to 7. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water, of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Word the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 20. Glory Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is, is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Responsory. His salvation is nearer to those who fear him. His glory shall dwell in our land. His salvation is near to those who fear him. His glory shall dwell in our land. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. His glory shall dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Glory to dwell in our land. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. His glory shall dwell in our land. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. His glory shall dwell in our land. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. His salvation is near to those who fear him. His glory shall dwell in our land. The angel said to those shepherds trembling in the field, Do not be afraid, for see, I, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This is the day that our hopes throughout Advent are finally realized. Love has come down upon us, hope is with us, peace is here, and this is to be a day of happiness. This is a quiet Christmas for us this year, but the promises that the birth of Christ hold are the same for all time. Let us be the lights shining in the darkness of the world. We are reminded in the words of our gathering this morning that Christ, our Messiah, came into the world to save us to shine with his Father's love and illumine the whole universe, and that with all the creatures on earth, we sing and dance at his birth. Over the centuries, many symbols and stories have come to us that proclaim that Christ came not just for humanity, but for all creation. Within all these symbols and legends, Great truths are held, speaking to us in ways that our mere words cannot hold. It is told the animals in the stable where Christ was born spoke at midnight. and They spoke about the baby born in their manger. Through the centuries, farmers of both small and large farms have put out extra rations for their animals. There are still children who try to stay awake at night to hear the animals speak. Scandinavians make beautiful braided wheat sculptures to hang around their farms to feed the birds and animals. Within our homes, we use evergreens as, as symbols of everlasting life. life. We have lights everywhere to remind us that Christ is the light of the world. Holly, if we can find it, is especially 
set out as hope for the coming spring and as a reminder of the crown of thorns. Pope Gregory the Great from the third century told people when sharing the good news of Christ with other people, don't put down their customs, but adopt them to the praise of God. And so God has spoken to people all over the earth in many languages, in many customs, and in many ways of praying, all for the glory of God. These Christmas legends are all for the glory of God. So look at the traditions you keep at Christmas. How do they contribute to the glory of God? And maybe this day you can give an extra treat to the animals you are living with. Or string some popcorn and hang pine cones covered with peanut butter. Or hang some suet or berries outside to extend the joy of Christmas to all of creation. Remember to live that all of creation can sing the birth of the Messiah. Amen. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings, and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be your children, and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven for Jesus' sake. We pray for our parishes and congregations of the territory of the people, remembering St. John the Divine Quinell, Grace, Prince George, and our own St. Michael and all angels. We pray for all clergy, church wardens, lay ministers, and volunteers who give up their time and energy to the church for your glory. Bless them and keep them in your care during this Christmas season. We pray for those celebrating Christmas without family or friends. We pray for all who struggle through the Christmas season in any way. We pray for all those without the security, safety, and comfort of a home or economic stability. We pray for those experiencing personal, emotional, and physical challenges. We pray for all who are confined by sickness or disease, those who are ill with COVID, for all who are suffering, and for those who've asked for our prayers. Daryl, Camilla, Jackie, Marilyn, Carolyn, Christine and family, she, Delbert, Eileen, Archdeacon Don, Joan, Tony, and Penny that they may find the peace and love of Christmas in the care they receive from others and be strengthened in their struggles. We pray for all who have died, remembering Lena, Garrett, Catherine, Stanley, Ingrid, and Kevin, especially confident that you have gathered them in your loving mercy. Give comfort and peace to all those who mourn the passing of loved ones, Elise and all the Gammon family, the Cup, Martin, Wenzel, and Yurkowski families, Margie Birch and her family. I end the prayers of the people with a prayer from Pope John 
23rd. O sweet child of Bethlehem, grant that we may share with all our hearts in this profound mystery of Christmas. Put into the hearts of men and women this peace for which they sometimes seek so desperately and which you alone can give to them. Help them to know one another better and to live as brothers and sisters, children of the same Father. Reveal to them also your beauty, holiness, and purity. Awaken in their hearts love and gratitude for your infinite goodness. Join them all together in your love and give us your heavenly peace. Amen. Let us remember before God our selfish ways, the things we have done wrong, the sorrows we have caused, the love we have not shown. Most merciful Father, forgive us our sins against you and against each other. Strengthen us to overcome our weaknesses, that we may live in love as you would have us live. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The ancient tradition of spiritual communion is available to all of us when we are not able to receive the bread and wine for whatever reason. After we have said the prayer asking for Jesus to come to us spiritually, we will sit quietly while listening for and being with God in some music. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, I want to receive you in my heart, and I cannot do it in the sacramental way. Therefore, I ask you to come to me and fill me with your presence, your peace, and your love. Grant me, Lord, the graces I need most. Amen. Gracious God, we thank you for feeding us in this spiritual way with Jesus Christ. May we who follow Christ bring life to others. We who the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so that we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. 
Glory to God from generation to generation, in the Church and in Christ Jesus, for ever and ever. Amen. May the God of infinite goodness scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your hearts with holiness. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. The final gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. <laughs> 